All of the links are in the description. This video assumes you know how to use the terminal, if you don't then look it up. Step 1, if you don't already have Flatpak, go to the link in the description, click on the symbol that represents your distro, in my case I am on Linux Mint, so it's Ubuntu. Copy and paste the install instructions in the terminal. Step 2, if you haven't yet, install Lutris. Using the link in the description for it, follow the steps for your distribution. In the case of Ubuntu you can use a Flatpak install or follow the other instructions. For this video we are using Flatpak, download, install, it's simple. Step 3, in the search bar type in Software Manager, open it and search Proton. Download Proton up Qt. Step 4, navigate to slash home slash your username slash dot local slash share slash lutris slash runner slash wine, create a folder called lutris ge proton 87x86 underscore 64. The exact name is in the description. Step 5, open Proton up Qt, click the add version button, select GE Proton 87. Install. Step 6, download the project files. You want the TAKP client, the project Quarm files which you can only get by going to the Discord, it's under server files, and DG Voodoo. Step 7, copy and paste the Lutris YAML script, right click, create a text file. Make sure it has the YAML extension. Copy and paste the script. Open Lutris and click the plus icon in the top left of the screen. Select install from YAML script, navigate to the script you download and install. The installer will ask for the TAKP client, the project Quarm files and the DG Voodoo files, if you did everything properly it should install. Step 8, download my DG Voodoo.conference. Right click on your install and click browse. That will open up a folder. Put the DG Voodoo file in the client folder. Next navigate to the DG Voodoo folder and delete the DG Voodoo.conference that's in there. This will assure you have no annoying watermark. Step 9, in the EQ Quarm folder search eClient.ini, open it with the text program of your choosing. In video mode change your resolution, if you play in third person, I recommend changing your refresh rate to 30, else you'll vibrate worse than I did in the beta experience video. Step 10, play the game. 